scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. So there are many people who say you want to prosper. Let me talk about two areas that concern us. This issue of finances, you see how it has embarrassed a lot of believers. And there are two groups, those who pretend they don't need it and those who are obsessed around it. Both of them are in trouble. You see that now. So God, does God help men economically? Yes. But how does he do it? How does God do it? There are many economic principles. Which one do you know and which one do you not know? Are we together now? Essentially, God helps men by empowering them with wisdom empowering them with productivity and giving them direction this has been his eternal strategy for empowering men the power to prosper works threefold the first place it works is on your mind not your bank account it alters your understanding it brings you to a state of illumination then the blessing of the Lord rests upon the work of your hands then it grants you direction the Lord is my shepherd he says I shall not want is someone learning now another way God prospers men in the kingdom is by connecting them to those he has already helped and causing them to have favor towards you listen if you are not Abraham the moment you find out you are Lord start respecting Abraham if not you are going to suffer the easiest way God helps men financially especially when time has gone beyond productivity is relationships when God wants to show a man mercy fast so that he will catch up he will look for Abraham and teach you how to be a wise lot before him because when God spoke to Abraham lot was not there and if you do not know how to be wise as lot you will not maximize the blessing that was on Abraham if you do not know how to be Ruth with wisdom you will not be able to glean from the vineyard of Boaz Ruth did not need to farm and wait for harvest. She only needed to secure favor from Boaz and she had the advantage of gleaning from the farm and he gave an instruction that it should not be done once. The classic character of favor. It does not happen only once. It happens again and again and again. How about walking in divine health? Ladies and gentlemen, are you not aware that Satan is determined to destroy the bodies of men? Because there is a law that your spirit can only remain if your body sustains a certain health level are we together every human being is given the gift of one body per lifetime one body not two one body per lifetime and the condition for your spirit to remain is that your body must have a certain health condition if it deteriorates beyond a certain threshold your spirit will leave whether it is your time or not so one of the ways that satan aborts the purposes of god is to create deterioration in your body and bring a separation between your spirit and your body he says a body has thou prepared for me are we together now that means you have a responsibility to remain healthy but it does not just happen by hoping there are keys there are keys my god there are keys there are keys number one is to know that longevity is your portion in christ you have to believe that not out of fear but there are keys number one 
I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The degree to which you plunge yourself in God's program can secure your longevity. Number two, honor your father and your mother in the Lord that it may be well with you and that your days may be long. Number three, I said before you life and death, blessing and cursing, I advise you choose life. You choose life by verbalizing it and taking pro-life decisions like your health, like eating well, like your exercise. All of those are your commitment towards living healthy. You can't just claim longevity and ignore the mysteries connected to it. Is someone learning now? The Bible tells us that the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth has he given to the sons of men. That means if one man is not standing on your side, you will suffer as if Jesus did not die. This is the world of men. Don't ignore men. No. That means you have to learn relational principles that give you an edge in life. You are gifted without relationships, you will be alone. The strength of productivity is in its connection. Be fruitful means be connected. Biology teaches us that fruitfulness is a product of relationships. It is on the strength of connection of a husband and a wife that a baby comes. If you are that husband, what other relationship will serve as the other part that makes be fruitful happen? Are we together now? Is someone learning? So there are many people who do not understand, for instance, the principle of honor relational principles and yet they continue to pray lord bring my destiny helper you have said it i even saw it in my dream a man of god spoke to me and heaven wants you to experience that dimension of god's glory but the mystery connected to it you are not interested in learning it and so good people and good things continue to pass you because you have not been able to attract good people through your character, your cautiousness, your sense of relationship. And whenever it is taught in church, the devil will make you believe it is too elementary and you ignore it to your peril, recycling pain again and again and again. Who hates you does not matter, but who likes you in this world? Oh yes, it does matter. Ask Ahasuerus, ask Boaz, Vashti is hated, she loses her throne immediately. A village girl is loved, she becomes queen immediately. Someone who was crying for losing all the men in her life, she carries this favor and she heads straight to the vineyard of Boaz and Boaz likes her and tells the men nobody should waylay and, and, and oppress this lady. Leave her to glean, just like that. She returns back to Naomi and says, I found favor. To cut the long, the long story short, she's given a chance again to enjoy destiny. Another side of destiny. Are we together now? These are the forces that men engage. There are people who may not be so gifted, they may not be so skilled, but they have found the keys to relationships, for instance, and they command all kinds and all dimensions of success. How about the anointing? There are many people who know the value of the anointing, but they do not know the price for the anointing. Knowing the value, the importance, the usefulness of the anointing is wonderful. But do you know the price for the anointing? Many people just want to claim. The average believer just knows that the only way to be anointed is to find an anointed person, kneel down perhaps with a seed on your hand, and then he lays hands on you. There are dimensions of the anointing that are not transferable. It is not every part of the anointing that is transferable. There are wells in the spirit that you must dig by yourself. It's an illusion to believe that every dimension of the anointing is transferable. No, no, no. There are certain prayers when they pray for you, it's not the anointing that was transferred. It's the hunger of the person who has it that it transferred to you. That hunger is what will drive you to the secret place. And you begin to dig your well, taking advantage of the enabling of the spirit. Until you, there is something about God you must know to carry that anointing. So it will not just come because hands were laid on you. No. What you carry is the hunger that begins to lead you to start that experience with God. So many people want to be anointed. 
our generation has come into a very healthy appreciation of the anointing we know what the anointing can do but there is a price for it the price is not just prayer the price is not just fasting it's not just bible study the greatest price for the anointing is a correct heart your heart condition is greater than your prayer life your heart condition is greater than your fasting i can tell you all those other spiritual exercises only find their place when your heart is right the psalmist says create in me a clean heart then he says renew a right spirit within me this is the psalmist praying hallelujah i don't want to go into showing you but let's try it second chronicles chapter 25 i think verse 2 please give it to us is god speaking to someone now <laughs> let's read verse 2 ready everybody one to read and he did that which was right in the sight of the lord but not with a perfect heart look at this scripture how do you do what is right prayer is right fasting is right giving is right coming to church is right serving is right but the bible says that is not enough to draw the attention of god your heart condition is what gives value to every spiritual activity he did that which was right in the sight of the lord but the only thing that was wrong was his heart condition hallelujah there are believers who want to command power for instance and they do not want to invest in the ministry of prayer they do not want to invest in the ministry of the word the average believer is bankrupt of light they are not aware of the exceeding great and precious promises sample two believers and mention several areas in in their lives and tell them to defend their results with one scripture each you will be disappointed and pained convince me that you have found light in the area of your health one scripture maybe i just know god will do it it's, it's a it's a very lazy way of contending for growth did you hear my description very lazy way of contending for growth nobody becomes a winner that way no. the lord is my light and my salvation of whom shall i be afraid of hallelujah when men say there is a casting down for me i say that there is a lifting up i realize that to connect with the supplies of heaven there is he that scattered and yet increased so when i give it's not just a bribe in the house of the lord my my giving is supported by superior understanding when i come to a man of god and drop a seed i'm not copying a ritual i saw somewhere or just to ease the guilt i bring that seed with understanding and i know I understand what is happening in the realm of the spirit when i get up in the night to pray i'm not just doing some spiritual jamboree i am praying because i have found out that it is a mystery that controls definite outcomes in the spirit he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint first thessalonians 5 17 to pray without ceasing james 5 13 it says if any man afflicted let him pray mark eleven twenty four. 24 what things soever ye desire he says when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shall have them what scripture supports your confidence in life what scripture makes you believe that your possibilities will be different in spite of the plunging economy across the nations have you defined your reality this is what exploit is about you want to thrive you have to know the exceeding great and precious promises and then know the conditions connected to the delivery of the results you desire what mystery controls favor what mystery controls longevity what mystery controls um lifting how do you know you will be promoted in the place of your job oh because it's my tribesman who just assumed the office no 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 what makes you believe as a man of god that people will still be interested in hearing you just because they had you last year does not mean they want to hear you now and they have a right to want to stop hearing you are we together 
He says, my heart is indicting a good matter. Yea, I speak of excellent things that my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. That every time you speak, there are ears. It's like an artist. You are writing upon the destinies of men. Gideon blew a shofar and 33,000 people gathered together. What gives you the confidence as a leader that the loyalty of those who work with you will remain? In this bedeviled world where people can vacillate their loyalty. What is the key? The Bible says that if you are prepared to lose, you will keep. But when you keep, you will lose. Have you understood that mystery? For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. Hallelujah. Apostle, my own is that I want promotion. God has been talking to me about promotion. Do you know what controls promotion? It's not just prayer. It's competence. 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 Yes, sir. See it thou, he said, the gift of a man. Make it room. It didn't say shows him where the room is. It makes room. It pushes everything until it creates his space for him. Joseph was anointed. But Joseph was competent. It was not interpreting the dream that made him prime minister. He's providing solution on account of his knowledge of the dream. He offered an economic solution. Intelligently communicated. And the king said there is no such one. This moment without interview, without discussion. There are many believers, if you employ them, you will regret employing them. Not because there's something wrong with their spirituality. The value component is almost zero. And they don't care. They don't mind. Why do I invite you and then my organization goes down? I love you, but I love my organization. So while you are preparing for favor and rising, you understand that competence is a weapon, is a ladder. You can ascend heights unknown. So while you are waiting for the job, you are fanning your value. It's proof that you are ready to experience that dimension of the glory of God. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. Am I challenging someone? We're going to pray. With all due respect, you're a minister of the gospel here. Please listen. There are many options today and people will not tolerate incompetence again. You don't hold a mic and waste the time of intelligent people while praying that God will fill your church with people. People are spiritual but they are not dummies. Are we together? Now, I'm not being insulted. I'm challenging you. Young man, you are planning to go into ministry. Don't pray alone. Buy the truth. Buy the truth with humility. Submit yourself and learn. A man of God is a communicator of ideas. They are spiritual in origin, but their value must be felt within the cosmos. That people carry life applicable principles that come from scripture and they can watch their lives improve. I have taught you that nobody lives what works. A man will not carry his family and children and come and become members of your church and you are just, you are disoriented and confused every week. No, they will sympathize with you but they, they love their destiny and they will leave. And it's not a demonic attack. It's the byproduct of ignorance. Study to show yourself approved unto God. Is that still in your Bible? A workman that needed not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth i vowed before god that i will never stand before a people and stand confused disoriented and wrap up everything with amen no these are thoughts and ideas that are empowered by the spirit but that an intelligent person can go back and meditate and contemplate on the ideas there must be a point of application to your communication this thing you see is not just a product of grace alone. There is a place of diligence. Am I wasting your time? How do you know you are ready? 
because men will start looking for you if men do not look for you it is because you are not prepared enough it's an uncomfortable truth but admit it right now responsibly I tell you the truth competence is a scarce product it's impossible to see it and ignore it when when a truck that is carrying fuel diesel or petrol when it has an accident sometimes with the risk involved you will see people still trying to scoop that is to tell you the kind of value they place on it the world does not ignore genuine value there is assumed value there is value where you flatter yourself comparing yourself with mediocres but there is value that can stand any standard the beauty of grace is when it comes upon a transformed vessel the beauty of grace is when it comes upon a prepared vessel the beauty of grace is when it comes upon competence the full potential of grace is demonstrated in the presence of competence for the way of the lord is the way of wisdom i choose the way we're going to pray and I'll minister to us shortly, but I want you to listen, ladies and gentlemen. I gave you an assignment yesterday. Let me give you one more. Would you do me a favor by going back home to write the various aspects of your life where you are yet to see the glory of God manifest? One of the principles of faith is vision. You have to give definition to your expectations. God cannot meet nothing. Give us this day what our daily bread when your expectations are defined even psychology teaches that with in the presence of definition you are more prone to obtaining your results it is true most believers do not have definition to their expectation so you ask them what do you want god to do they will just say general blessings you know every part of my life is too vague how do you know when god has come through go back and write with clarity with precision this is what I'm trusting God to do. There is a height in the spirit I'm trusting God to take me. Perhaps you're a man of God. There is a time to invest in prayer and the word. I have discerned laxity in my spiritual life. And I'm trusting that this year as a goal, that I will extend realms and height. You write it. So that when it happens, you can give God definite things. How about your finances? As a responsible father, responsible mother, you look at the reality of the prevailing economy and begin to write what are your expectations the bible says what things soever ye desire they have a name give definition to them you're a man of god you are trusting god for increase don't pray a blind prayer and say god just bring people that is not an intelligent prayer no the bible says watch and pray watch is a product of your mind that your mind has to be involved in your prayer to make it profitable increase has a definition what are you trusting god for and then god begins to prepare you to be the kind of man of god that can minister to the people you are praying to come are we together you want to excel academically for instance lord grant me grace there is the quickening of the spirit that can happen to your mind Eli, who said there is a spirit in man chapter 32 and verse 8 he says the breath of the almighty Give it men understanding. Job 32 and verse 8. There is a spirit in man. That the spirit of God can quicken your understanding. God-like comprehension. Exceeding great and precious promises. But for this service, you have come with hunger. You have come with expectation. Among the many things that happen when we are gathered is that we experience his benefits let me list five of them and then we pray psalm 103 psalm 103 bless the lord oh my soul verse one says are we together media help us bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name verse two it says bless the lord oh my soul and forget not his benefits there are benefits when we come to god five of them walk with me number three the Bible says, who forgiveth thine iniquities. That means every time we're gathered unto the Lord like we are tonight, 
we expect his grace to be available to administer forgiveness number two who healed all thy diseases please back up a bit thank you who healed how many say all let the issue concerning your health here you confess say all who healed all thy diseases number four the bible says who redeemed thy life from destruction that is deliverance deliverance is not just casting out spirit is separating men from conditions it's not only spirits you can be separated from a condition who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies that is called honor and then the final verse who satisfied your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles when i come to god i come believing that number one he exists but number two on account of these promises that he is a rewarder he's a rewarder rewarding your sacrifice you've been laboring from the start of this conference that includes those who are following online the next few minutes that we're going to be having i like you to give your destiny dedicated attention plunge yourself in the prayer let your heart be open trust god to visit you and by the way let me encourage those who are yet to submit their prayer request if you're yet to submit your prayer request please do well just wave it where you are and ushers please can you help us let's just walk around so we pick it and um perhaps you may want to pass it to someone by the right or left to make it easier for the ushers and for those of you online i'm sure there should be a way of getting your request we're about to pray right now why do we pray because god is ever ready to hear us and to answer us why do we pray because prayer is the authorized platform to communicate our needs and our petitions the bible says what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them philippians 4 6 it says be anxious for nothing but in everything how many things everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says let your request be made known unto god why do we pray because the bible says ye have not because ye ask not there is a promise in scripture that to everyone who asks that he will receive matthew 7 and verse 7 it says ask and you shall receive seek and you shall find knock it says and it shall be opened unto you we want to ask right now in prayer i'm a firm believer in the power of god i've seen him do miraculous things and my goodness that he will glorify jesus in this place today are you ready if you're still writing let me give you a few seconds to write perhaps your faith has been challenged and you want to still add a few things the bible says ephesians 3 20 now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly far above all that we ask or think according to the power that works within us it says to him be the glory in the church even by christ jesus amen so we are talking to a God who hears. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. I believe in Jesus. I believe in his power to heal. Ensure that within the next five minutes or so that we have, that you will not walk out of this place with any infirmity in your body everything that is inconsistent with god's desire for you as revealed in scripture you have a responsibility to partner with the spirit of god and partner with the word to get it out of your life do you believe that rise up on your feet and let's pray for a minute and then i speak over your life someone who is full of faith begin to pray in the spirit in one minute pray in the spirit in one minute Pray in the spirit in one minute. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, are a shield for me my glory you lift my head 
But now, oh Lord, add a shield for me My glory, the lifter up of my head Self, tell me as loud as you can, say Father one more time say father in the name of jesus i decree and declare that my life will be a revelation of the glory of god i receive by faith all your promises for me go ahead and begin to pray i receive someone is praying Rakesh kapranda kabela katas kabraga debela ta. Shales kabarentas kabraka tola sava sarabakata. I receive in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. And this is the confidence that we have in Him that when we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us. Go ahead and pray. Oh, I receive by faith. Go ahead and pray. Divine health, speed, favor, lifting by the power of the Holy Ghost. Online pray. Outside pray. Man of God, pray. Businessman pray, worshippers pray. Ela shala kaska brakata bela tosh. Shala barada brakata barada tosh. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, I'm just going to speak over the sick. I feel stirred in my heart to pray. We may not have time to take the testimonies, but you can take that. You know. On Sunday, you can come and testify, but I want to pray particularly for the sick, and then I want to speak the favor of God over your life, and then we'll do the prayer. There are many things to pray for, but these two things your body, and then to program a climate of favor over you. Many people have disrespected the power of the prophetic, you will be joking. Just because there are abuses and imbalances does not mean you throw away the prophetic ministry. It's an advantage that God gave us. We transit realms. We are changed upon the power of prophecy. Hallelujah. I want to pray for the sick now. Listen to me. The revelation behind healing is God's commitment to preserve your body and to give you the vitality needed to serve him and to represent him it's important you understand this when the sick are healed is beyond an attestation that a man of god is anointed no god's goal is way bigger than that it is god's commitment towards giving you sustained vitality it says they that be planted in the house of God it says they will flourish in the courts of our God that even in old age they will be fat and flourishing it then means that if you tolerate infirmity and sickness of any kind and any sort in your body it is your participation with darkness to cut short your life every manifestation of sickness is death being administered in a measure and according to the pattern of how Satan works, when he touches an area and you allow him unrestrained, he will move further. This is what he did to the church, the early church. The Bible says Herod made a commitment to vex certain Jews and they caught James and beheaded James and the church kept quiet. When he saw that it pleased the people, the Bible says he proceeded further. Satan touches your health, you are quiet. He proceeds further to your children proceeds further to your finances but then when we get to verse 5 the church became angry the bible says while he was waiting so that when you know the feast was over the bible says the church came together but prayer was made by the church unto god for him and angels came to the rescue the same angels that rescued peter were available to rescue james so as i pray for you make sure you do not entertain any trace of infirmity and sickness in your body 
as Jesus taught the Bible says the power of God was present the presence of the power does not mean it is administered to you it has to be received by faith healing is governed by the hearing of faith the hearing of faith that God wants to heal you and then you open up your hearts to receive when you receive by faith every time Jesus healed the sick he did not leave them that way he would always ask them to take steps in response to their belief this is the definition of faith faith is not just believing God faith is the name given to your response of obedience as proof that you believe believing God is part of the process that leads to faith but it is not faith until there is a response in obedience it is not faith in one word faith is obedience faith is not action faith is obedience you can act in disobedience Jonah acted but in disobedience we do not call his action faith because it was against the word of God your action must be consistent to the word of God and the instruction that has come are we together yes lay your hands right now I want to pray for you standing in faith with Reverend Sam I want to pray for you for as long as I live I will see to it that everyone who is sick oppressed of the devil according to Acts 10 38 that they have a chance to experience the power of God he said how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about on the strength of that empowerment doing good and healing all not some they that were oppressed of the devil he says for God was with him Acts chapter 10 when you read from verse 34 they said God is no respecter of persons I like that scripture that God is no respecter of persons God is no respecter of persons I want to pray for you lay your hands now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest by faith you can stand in for your loved one perhaps some mother somewhere trusting God for a miracle deliverance from any kind whatever it is lay your hands there right from the moments of worship as we enjoy the presence of God here we've been building momentum in the spirit and now that the word has come God's power is available to bring you healing healing right here on site healing online across distance is no barrier and I want you to believe as I speak they are not empty words they are empowered there is a throne that backs our speakings omnipotent father of mercy and grace thou art welcome me in this place father in the name of Jesus I lay my hands by faith upon everyone who is sick in their bodies I'm seeing people lift medical reports I'm seeing people lifting photos of their loved ones I wanted to connect by faith I'm about to speak to you now the Bible says by his stripes we were healed Peter said the spirits that are at the back of every infirmity here represented in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God we take authority over those spirits now shout a believing amen now shout a believing amen now every spirit that is back of any infirmity plaguing God's people I decree and I declare that you give way now and I minister the life and the power of Jesus to your body I declare be healed now be healed now be healed now my God be healed now eye conditions be healed now blood conditions of any kind and any sort be healed now bone conditions be healed now I tell you I sense such a strong anointing of the Spirit of God I'm praying for someone who has a severe pain around your ankle in the name that is above all names be healed this moment there is a lady your left eye you are seeing please help them in the name of Jesus I'm seeing 
you have severe pain when you look it's like you are look you are, you are seeing an object your left eye the power of god is touching you right now i bring you life i bring you healing in the name of jesus i've seen these kinds of conditions many times and the lord is asking me to announce it again you are a lady your circle happens twice a month it is very irregular it comes with excruciating pain the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ i cast that devil from your body all kinds of growths fibroids lumps i declare they die now in the name of jesus christ you're having severe pain especially at the left side of your neck when you turn it this happened when you woke up one morning i'm praying for you now the power of god is touching you this moment hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you